Hello friends, today I'm going to discuss about serverless computing. Most trending word in the latest IT world is serverless computing. So what is serverless computing basically? Can you imagine any application or web service or database without server? No, it can't be, right? So uh, technically there are servers even in serverless computing, but you simply host those websites or database onto the serverless and leave the maintenance to the cloud provider. Let us see what are the advantages of the cloud computing. So there is no server management. You don't need to maintain any servers here as it is be being maintained by the cloud provider. Flexible scaling. So whenever there is more traffic, uh, uh, usually you have to up more servers to uh, sustain in the, in the heavy traffic. But when it is serverless computing, the scaling will be automatically taken care by your cloud provider. Pay for what you use. So usually if you are running 100 servers on the cloud, you will need to pay for all those 100 servers, whether you are utilizing or your application is running or not. But if you use serverless computing, you will pay for what you used in terms of the computing power and other stuff. So no infrastructure need to be maintained here as you're not running any servers directly. All uh, the servers are maintained by the cloud provider under the serverless. Automated high availability. So usually if you want to make your application high available, you need to uh, maintain the application in num uh, number of regions, number of zones and stuff. But here that will be taken care by the uh, serverless cloud provider. Usually when you launch number of servers, you need to monitor how many servers are running or which server is down, which server is up and all those stuff, right? But when it is serverless, you don't need to monitor all those stuff. It will be taken care by the uh, cloud provider. Security will also be taken care by the cloud provider. E easy deployment. So if you want to host any application onto the servers, there is a big process to deploy your application. But when it is a serverless, it is very easy and straightforward within just five minutes you can deploy just like that so serverless um, got uh, its own limitations and uh, disadvantages so let us have a look on that so if you want to uh, launch the huge application which needs terabytes of uh, storage then probably serverless is not a good option because it got its own limitations for each and every serverless uh, feature Please first have a look on that before you take a decision. Limited debugging power. So if you want to debug your applications remotely uh, in the way, uh, different forms, uh, it is not possible. There are limited uh, ways of debugging. No third party installations. If you want to uh, install third party softwares for various reasons, you can't do that on the serverless computing. Vendor login. Assume that you have built your application based on AWS serverless cloud computing and after six months you realize that uh, something is not working on that and you want to move to other cloud provider maybe Azure or uh, GCP then you again need to uh, re-architect uh, revisit the application to see how uh, how need to be changed to deploy to the other cloud providers as you have already taken care of the limitations and languages supported all those stuff security concerns Though security is taken care by the cloud provider, but there are still some security concerns uh, in terms of uh, uh, the compliances and stuff. So you need to even again have a check on that. That's it for today. Uh, just check my other video if you want to see what are the serverless uh, features available on the various cloud providers. Uh, thanks to everyone. Thanks for subscribing my channel.